our thoughts. Um, <laughs> let's move into our next story. There's an epic indoor arena for kids that every Dubai parent should know about. I know it's getting cooler, however, it's still humid and school's half term is just around the corner. So get your kids active, get them involved in the community with the Street Maniacs Camp. This is located in Al Coos 3 and it looks unreal. It's a 15,000 square foot indoor arena and it's the perfect way to keep your kids active during this break. They've got loads of activities for kids in a safe and friendly environment. Kids can play games, they can win prizes and of course, The most important thing, they can meet new friends. Uh, It's also the home of the best trampoline park in the UAE, UAE, also located in Alcuz Alcuz 3. I know, this burp there, but um, the October half-term camp starts from Sunday, the 17th to Thursday, 21st October, from 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. and includes lunch, beverages for the kids, and children have to be uh, 95 centimeters to join the camp, and you need to book the slots as spaces are filling up quickly. And activities include arts and crafts, scavenger hunts, dance, magic shows, balloon bending, STEM activities, and many more prizes. And many more prizes. You can see if you're watching on our Facebook show, um, the information about it. Uh, look, this is super cool. If you have half term coming up, which I wasn't even aware half term was coming up. So I think it's not all schools, but yeah, some, t- some schools will still will enjoy half term. Pretty qu- Oh, Halloween half term. Oh. Who knows? I mean, I feel like it just started, no? <laughs> the school term. I, th- I think some schools, some. tell us, some schools will enjoy half term. I don't think all do because I just, when I was teaching, I don't think we got it, but I think some schools do get it at this time. Anyway, could, could be well wrong, but, um, you know, half term is coming up. You could be a parent. You could be working. What are you going to do with the kids? This looks unreal. Um, it's a huge indoor facility. I actually am... Um, have some kids visiting soon, actually as a baby, and I was looking for what great things can you do with kids. Um, And now we found one, which is pretty epic. Uh, It's in Alcoos where you can find loads of heaps of interesting stuff to do. Um, And this is an actual camp and what the price is there, uh, 170 per day. And then it goes up if you want to do the whole week. So check it out. Um, Sounds absolutely class and... uh, School camps are always the best, like not school camps. Memories like the, of school yeah. camps. I have such good memories of like the, the lunch box you would bring would always be like a level up from the one that you brought to school. Really? Yeah, you would, you would have like, you would have like, we never More. had like chocolate and stuff going to school. Yeah. But when you went mm-hmm. to your half or your, your spring break, Uh, summer camp, camp. Your summer camps, oh yeah. You'd have yeah. your crisps, you'd have your chocolate. Tasty, no? I spoiled as a kid. Did you not have that? No, I just got like the same thing for summer camp as I did for school. Just like a bigger portion. Huh? You guys went to summer camp? Yeah, I went uh, to summer camp. We were disciplined like that. Camp Rockwell? No, that wasn't the one I went to. Yes, that was. <laughs> camp Rock. Sorry, Ali. My mom had six kids and she was working. What else was he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I was playing basketball in That was mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. But literally best memories. Like, I remember once, like, the, the things that they would put on for you was just, like, not something that you had in your school, not something yeah. you have at home. Like, there, uh, like, water activities and stuff. Like, I just remember them so much. Like, I remember, like, getting on the bus in the morning, being super excited um, and meeting people and, like, playing all these, like, silly games that you wouldn't usually play. Not that this is silly, but, you know. Fun education. You yeah. <laughs> Fun activities. And meeting new people. It's great. It's so much fun being, unless you're an introvert, then it must be like really hell for you. I don't know. (laughs) Or it teaches introverts to get over their bubble and just need to go out of your comfort zone. You know, like so many benefits. If you're an extrovert, great. If you're an introvert, great. (laughs) I think I was an introvert. I am an introvert really, but... um... Like you, you, you didn't have to be like the life of the party, but it was just like doing different things. And sometimes you're out of your comfort zone. It's, It's helpful. Are you an introvert? Um, so those summer camps made you a non-introvert? Um, interesting. This is the same question my therapist asked me. No, <laughs> <laughs> on that note, um, guys, that is it for us on the Love of Dubai show. Please, if you are a follower of Married at First Sight UK, we have Frankie coming into the studio. We're going to be talking to him all things um, Marilise and his relationship. If you have any questions, drop them into our Instagram stories because we posted a story this morning. I watch the show from start to finish. It's where you go in, you marry someone that you have only literally just met at the altar. It's unreal. It's incredible binge watching TV. If you want to watch it, go watch it now. I'll be talking to him on the show tomorrow. It's going to be unreal. So stay tuned for that.